Okay, so is this thing zoomed in? It's zoomed in again. So uh, I decided to go right to the horse's mouth for the starter gear for the tractor. And right to Briggs and Stratton for it. This is the uh, one I took off. Kind of crappy, but uh, anyway, I compared this gear up to this one that came in, and these don't come to a fine enough point. That is, if I put them together, um, oops. If I put them together, the uh, teeth on the new one are longer. So, I don't know. Maybe that's the deal. I just know that I've started it three times, and three times it started. So, let's see if it's got a fourth in it, or if it's going to make make me out to be a liar. Which, it just might do. Let's see if we can see that. Okay. So, four times and the starter gear is still in good shape, so that must have been it. Um, I'm hoping. We'll see. Uh, so I took the caliper off, uh, took the uh, seal out of there, cleaned it all up. The, the brake fluid just ruined the paint on there, so I repainted it, put it back together. It's working fine now. I know there was some concern by some people that I might not use, put the front brake back together, but I don't use it, but eh, well, you know, it does help when I'm pushing it around the garage, so. Uh, so the next thing is I'll probably start this baby. Um, but not just yet. i got to go in and eat. It's about 70 out today for April 9th? 8th. I think it's the 8th. Uh, that's pretty darn good. Um, tomorrow is supposed to be another sunny and 70 day. And uh, for those interested, my tractor port's still holding. Two heavy snowfalls, one 10 inches, one 12. Uh, several windstorms in the area of 60 plus mile an hour winds, and it's still holding up, so I'm very pleased with it. Uh, we did just get a flyer from the village that included a list of things you may not realize are against code, or against the rules, whatever, and one of them was temporary shelters built out of canvas. Screw them. Let them try and take it down. I'll have a few words with them. Given how they've treated us over the years and how they've screwed us over, I have a few words for them. So, yeah, it's staying up. Oh, yeah, we're not allowed to park anywhere but in the driveway. It has to be a hard or gravelly surface. You can't park in the yard. You can't park in the, uh, in the gravel on the side of the road. Screw that. I'm parking wherever I want to park. If I want to put my car in the yard while I wash it, too damn bad. If I got a road full uh, a driveway full of people and I come home and that's happened many times I'm gonna park in the yard I'm gonna leave my car in the street screw them ah, the little things that piss me off <laughs> anyway so I think that's fixed maybe uh, that's definitely fixed um, I think I fixed the leak around here too. There was a gasket, like a paper gasket, and it was just gnarly. So uh, there was no reason for it either. The um, the cup inside actually has rubber that comes out to the edge here. I, just, I don't know what they were thinking. So anyway, I cleaned it all up, tightened it down. Hopefully it won't leak now. Um, it was leaking out of here. That's how this happened. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, there's, yeah, right there. Just. The faster I went, the more, just little amounts would weep out of here, but it was enough to cause the tank to, you know, it would just hit the tank. And so hopefully that's done. And this thing is a mess. So uh, I'm going to do a cold start on it again because it's been a week or two. And then I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to eat lunch first, come out and uh, start it. I might actually try and kickstart it because according to this... It's uh, 62 degrees, so uh, 64-ish. So uh, the uh, outdoor thermometer up at the house says it's 70 outside. And if I uh, shine this Insta read on the garbage cans, which are in the shade, it's at 70. So I believe it's 70. All right, that's enough. Well, it's uh, next day. It's 
so right after that last film I did, uh, video I did, um, got a phone call from a friend and had to go help him with the, some things he was doing. And then we went out to have dinner and do a little grocery shopping. It was pretty dark when I got back and I, I, I just relaxed, uh, did some things for work, that sort of thing. Uh, so I haven't really done anything with the bike, it's still in the same spot. It's always, um, I might try and kickstart it here and get it fired up, but today's just going to be washing it. I might take it for a quick spin, but it can't go very far. The battery is uh, not holding a charge. And, uh, the uh, I don't want to uh, run this thing um, with the headlight and everything else going. Um, and you can't turn it off without unplugging it. But um, Just off the uh, the uh, alternator, cause, uh, or the stator, because um, it's kind of a draw for it. It's, it's meant to be used... Uh, with the uh, stator and the battery together, you know, so, um, but, you know, for a short trip, that might not be too bad. So we'll see how that goes. I got to wash it. And then I, okay, so I'm going to try and start her up. I, uh, unfortunately, uh, the battery's still dead. I just tried to fire it up with the starter and it won't have it. So, uh, I'm going to try and kick start it. It's going to take a few kicks. Um, it's. 60 something in the garage, so um, it is what it is, right? So we'll see how it goes. clean a little wet but clean well, it's the first time she's seen uh, water in about five years normally I just wipe her down with a towel but now you can see what that brake fluid did and why I wanted to repaint that tank at least I think you can see it it's hard to tell but anyway she's better so now just let her drip dry because these are wet now, and I don't want to be starting it with these things being wet, so I'll let those completely dry. Just fine, I got some running to do and some other things to go on before I can hop on it, but like I said, I can't go very far anyway. So. I, I, I got to thinking, you know, I got a few things here uh, for free the other day. Uh, this tester, uh, this glows red and uh, makes a loud beeping noise when you uh, touch anything so whether you have this on the negative or the positive you touch something else uh, so it's a, it's a nice little tester for the car or bike or whatever just uh, for power and uh, got a big clamp which is always handy the square which I really thought about it I didn't have one this big so it worked out nice this drill not because it's old uh, exactly I mean I'm not exactly a collector of old drills but uh, the nice part is, is it fits in that drill press right there perfectly. So, of course, the only issue is it doesn't have reverse, but um, at least it fits. And then I got this air tank, which, as so far as I could tell, is about 10 gallons. So I'm going to connect it up to that one and double my capacity, and then I'll just have a um, short hose going from here to the other one so I can make the other one still portable, but... Um, connect up this extra tank whenever I need it because I really don't need it as a mobile air tank right so um, that would come in handy and then I got this knife which I thought was kind of cool the blades broke on it a little bit um, the, little, the tip broke off a little bit but see if I can open it here 
there we go. So uh, there's a shorter blade in here too, which is in fine shape. It's not broken or anything. Pretty sharp actually. This is though broken. But for free, I thought, well, it'd be kind of a cool little thing to have. So, yeah, you know, why not? And then a mail call, so my stickers came in, so I'll be getting those out. I owe some people. And then a mail call for Justin uh, Bartaway. Uh, has some cool videos. He was, uh, he's got a, uh, uh, Oh, sure. I was just watching his videos last night, and uh, oh, it's the Chrysler that the cops always use. Uh, he calls it Sarge. And uh, a couple other uh, Pontiac and uh, some other stuff. Um, so he, he does some cool videos. I'll insert, insert a little something here. Just didn't, uh, just kind of wanted to get it done. I just got done giving it a bath. And also want to do a shout out to. Special effects uh, in Lowell, Michigan. They did the tent job. I forgot to mention them yesterday. Okay, it's up on the cabinet with all these other fine YouTubers. So check them out if you can. Nice work progressing on the uh, truck, uh, Coasty. So. All these guys have great videos. And as hard as it is for me to find time to watch them all, I'm doing it. <laughs> it's, it's getting there, you know. But the thing is, is uh, the new Dizzy with his live show, which I do occasionally catch, but that's about it. And I see my batteries flashing, so uh, I'm going to wrap this up just to say, check out all these fine folks. They do great videos. I love every one of them. So. Anyway, talk to you later.